talking Centurion. This one directed by Neil Marshall. Now, Neil Marshall uh, is quite the kind of the fan favourite director. He, of course, directed Dog Soldiers, The Descent. He's directed some of the kind of the biggest episodes of Game of Thrones. And here he has this kind of Roman epic, which has pretty good cast. You've got, um, leading up the charge, you've got uh, Michael Fassbender, of course, from, well, he's done everything these days, hasn't he? You've got uh, David Morrissey, of course, from The Walking Dead, uh, Liam Cunningham from Game of Thrones, you've got Riz Ahmed, along with a few other kind of, like, familiar faces, Dominic West. So there's plenty of people here that you'll kind of recognise. Uh, essentially, it focuses on the Ninth Legion, this kind of famous legion that has, has disappeared from the history box, the Roman Ninth Legion. Now, in, the, in, the, uh, in Britain, the Romans never conquered Scotland, and... Uh, the, at this time it was kind of occupied by the Picts, and um, as they were known back then. And uh, this one tells us kind of this, a, a story that we can obviously, obviously based on speculation, who I would imagine. Uh, and it's basically this kind of, this Ninth Legion kind of goes up to the kind of like, uh, through to Scotland to try and obviously take, you know, take over the, the place. So they've been raided and stuff, so they're going to want to put an end to it. So they're led there by a you know, large kind of legion of, uh, of Roman soldiers. Uh, and they are, they have this kind of, um, pick kind of traitor played by Olga, Olga Korieko, I think her name is, who was once a big thing at some, for about five minutes. Anyway, it turns out she's betrayed them and they, they are kind of, for the most part, all killed outside of a, a few stragglers. Uh, Michael Farspeth, the lead, leading this kind of team of small, um, small kind of survivors to try and kind of escape and get back to the kind of the, uh, uh, the safety of uh, of England ultimately, and it ultimately becomes a chase movie from there. So that's your kind of your basic plot here. Let's talk Centurion. Neil Marshall, of course, is renowned for his his horror roots and his kind of gore, and he doesn't skip on this one. We've seen, we've seen some quite uh, brutal depictions of uh, of people meeting grisly ends through swords through the face, beheadings, all the such burnings. So there's, there's a great many kind of gory deaths here that all look fantastic. The cast is absolutely spectacular. I mean, watching it now, you'll kind of see so many kind of actors that you kind of recognise from, um, you know, from sort of stuff that has come up. I've just mentioned Walking Dead, uh, Game of Thrones, Doctor Who. There's so many kind of familiar faces here. It's really kind of fun to kind of quite spot that. And with that, the kind of the acting, I've got to say, is all pretty good. Uh, the, the effects and the kind of the scale of some of the kind of the battles are all quite fun. Uh, but what doesn't work for me, because I, I actually have a few problems with this movie. I think this is actually one of Neil Marshall's weaker films. So for a start, our biggest action set piece is at the beginning of the movie. And the one at the end, unfortunately, is a little bit of kind of a damp squid in comparison. So although the movie starts out pretty strong with this kind of like the, uh, ultimately the, uh, the decimation of the Ninth Legion, that should have been the biggest part of the movie, if you ask me. And it, it, it kind of... Although the action scene is very good, considering that it's, it's, it's the biggest kind of like conflict in the movie, it's a, it, in a weird place. It's kind of it's the first real conflict we see, and um, it's over in not too long of a time, unfortunately. So it becomes uh, a little bit of an anticlimax in its own right, and the kind of the final climax, as I say, is, is nowhere near as interesting uh, or as exciting. But that's not the only issue. For me, the, the most egregious issue here is the characterization or lack thereof. Now, Michael Fassbender gets some you know, some, some fairly good characterization, but the rest of the kind of the characters here really just seem like cannon fodder. Now, when you watch it now and you kind of see recognizable actors that you've known from from other stuff, but taking it from the point of view that um, when you watch this movie, these guys weren't as well known, so the characterizations of them really don't seem all that good and seem kind of rather flimsy and, quite frankly, seem like cannon fodder. No one really gets much of a kind of a personality, uh, both on the kind of the Romans and the kind of the pick sides. There's also an ill conceived romance here that happens that a character is introduced over an hour into the movie with only kind of like 25 minutes left. And this is a kind of, uh, you know, a, a romance between our kind of. Uh, our main sort of character, played by Michael Fassbender, uh, with this kind of like, this woman who kind of picks up, who is this woman I believe is this kind of a beautiful witch who kind of lives on her own, etc. So that just seems a little bit kind of uh, ill-conceived to me. So overall, I think this movie is uh, has some interesting parts and then there are lots of kind of like fun uh, actors. But I've got but I've got to say the nuts and bolts of this movie is all over the place. The structure is wrong. The narrative the narrative flows in a in an odd pace, it has the best thing and then kind of goes downhill from there. Um, with kind of characters you don't really feel like you know particularly well. Um, 
uh, there's a little bit of a kind of a forced conflict between uh, at the end, um, and our, our kind of our main antagonist goes down unfortunately in a little bit of a kind of uninspired way as well. I will have to say. So overall, this is definitely one of Neil Marshall's weaker movies. I don't think it's a terrible movie, and there are some there are a lot to enjoy here. But compared to the kind of the master strokes of his kind of like his horror roots. I think this is definitely a kind of a a week of entry into his kind of filmography. I'll give this one a 5 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.